Hi, my name is Ellie, and yes, this is Kira, and today we'll be talking about traditional and digital art. Kira has her laptop on the side, and it's full of her drawings, and I have my sketchbook and a few pages here, and basically we'll be talking about the differences between digital and traditional. traditional yeah. Do you want to talk about digital first? The traditional is like more widely known. Yeah, I guess. Um, and digital, which she has on her laptop there, is more used now since yeah, it's 2020, so everyone just has phones and iPads, so I guess it's quite easier to access apps with sketch pads instead of actually going out and buying them. <coughs> so artwork is pencil and paper, like any sketch pads, like this, that'd be all traditional artwork. And say paint on a canvas, that's all traditional. It'd be pencils, pens, coloring pencils, any pastels, that'd be all traditional. And for digital, it would be iPads, iPhones, like any phones, laptops, really anything that's just online, to be honest. Digital artwork is like, you have the app, so there's multiple different apps, there's like Procreate, there's the one I use is IBS Paint. What other ones is there? It would be just like a normal app called Sketchpad. Sketchpad. There's loads of different ones that you can use. Some you have to pay money and they're more expensive, but they're better than some of the ones. Like IBS Paint is a free one, so it's not as good as say Procreate would be because that's like Fiverr or something to get. But with the digital art, you can choose like the size of your canvas and all that, the size of your brush so it's not as in traditional art whereas you need to control your lines to get the right thickness yeah basically that's what it is um then for traditional you would have to go out your way and buy certain pencils like hb and like B4. 2p 3p yeah basically all different types of pencils to get darker shades or even lighter shades then for pens just like a block red, green, any type There's of colour gel pen. pens or there's no more point, yeah. bold point pens or stuff. And there'd be a type of pen called white gel pen. There's fine liners. For, yeah. There's a lot of different types of pens. And then for, there'd be very expensive pencils. There'd be cheap colouring pencils. There's a lot of them. They'd range to any price. They could even be over 100 euro. And then for, Canvases, paints can be quite expensive, especially oil paints, from the quality of them and how long they can last. Usually very expensive ones, they will take ages to dry because they are oil paints. Um, there's acrylic paints, then... Acrylic paints dry faster, so... Yeah, so they usually be, they would tend to be cheaper, but they can sometimes be hard to use. But oil paints are, they're more like... Kind of old type that was used like hundreds and years ago. There's watercolor as well. Watercolor is hard to control. Yeah, watercolor would be quite hard. Yeah, I think so. But you can do quite smooth, big finishes. 